And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, the snow is coming down now in Lafayette. You can see that blue line sinking further off to the south. Don't let our satellite radar fool you. There's just plenty of moisture in the atmosphere as of right now. That's why it's still reading rain over Tippecanoe County. But I assure you, it is snowing out there and it is coming down, to say the least. Let's get a better look at this system, this massive system, all thanks uh, to the large low pressure system continuing to roll across the region. It's the heaviest snowfall right now making its way across parts of Carroll, now into Cass County, even parts of Clinton County at this point. But the snow is coming down. The moisture content is very high and it is sticking because temperatures are falling so rapidly. We were recorded a temperature of 43 degrees just after midnight. That will make up your high temperature for the day because temperatures are expected to decline throughout the next 24 hours. Now, as a result of the snowfall, the wintry mix, the freezing rain now on the ground, we're looking at a winter storm warning for the northeastern portion of the viewing area, including parts of Cass or White Cass, Pulaski, Fulton, and Miami County. That goes until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The rest of us actually under a winter weather advisory through 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So those winter weather advisories warning still out until this afternoon. Now the snow should be coming to an end prior to that, but all together you can see the snow blowing across the pedestrian bridge. Those flags as well. Wind sustained from the north at 22 miles per hour. Wind gusts may be as high as 45 miles per hour before the day is up. So our high res future cast showing all of that snowfall. We'll get a little bit of a break at times over the next hour or so, but once we get towards the latter part of the morning, that snow will begin to move eastward. will finally dry out, but stay mainly cloudy. The low-level jet will pull moisture off of Lake Michigan. A couple isolated flurries not out of the question, but for the most part, we'll remain cloudy uh, over the next 24 hours, eventually clearing out a bit for tomorrow. Here's what we're expecting. One to three inches of total snowfall for the far southern portion of the region, including parts of Warren Fountain, as well as Montgomery counties. The further north you go, the more snowfall we are expecting Lafayette, a good bet right around three to five total inches of accumulation before the morning is up and further off to the northeast, six to eight inches of total accumulation for parts of uh, Fulton, Pulaski, as well as Cass, Miami counties by the latter part of the morning and early afternoon. We'll continue to fall in temperature and those winds will pick up speed. By 3 p.m. we'll be down to 29 degrees. Winds will be gusting as high as 45 miles per hour and that's why the National Weather Service on top of the weather advisory and the winter weather advisory and the winter Winter storm warnings has issued a wind advisory for the southern half of the viewing area through 4 p.m. as well. So a blustery day to say the least is expected. Temperatures yesterday hit 64 degrees. We're going to be dropping to five overnight tonight. That is a departure of 61 degrees in about a 38 hour period. So frigid conditions had our way for early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow does look a bit more pleasant. Mostly sunny, partly cloudy skies expected throughout your Thursday with afternoon high temperatures right around 35 degrees in Lafayette. We'll bounce up to around 50. 55 on Friday, Saturday up to around 50 degrees. So a couple nice days there. We do cool off the 35 on Sunday, a passing chance of a wintry mixture. However, by St. Patty's Day, 34 degrees your afternoon high with mostly sunny skies. We'll jump right back up to 54 degrees by Tuesday afternoon. So we have much worse weather than what we had the last two days. <laughs> yeah, you know, yesterday, the day before, absolutely beautiful day, days in the 60s, plenty of sunshine. Not so much yesterday, but at least we saw those nice temperatures. Today, temperatures will be on a decline throughout the day. Winds gusting to 45 miles per hour. Some of us catching as much as six to eight inches of snowfall. I guess what could you do? It's Indiana, exactly. right? Cameron, thank you for that. Coming up.